if you really do reap what you sow, then Jason Brown and his family are going to be just fine. Long before the pandemic shined the light on food insecurity, Jason devoted his life to fighting hunger. He talks about all of it, talks about the journey in his new book. It's called Centered, Trading Your Plans for a Life That Matters. And it's those plans, it's those plans that really make a story even more incredible. Pro football player Jason Brown's career has been unusual from the start. Growing up, you didn't really even like football that much. Is that right? It, it, it's kind of true. I was in the marching band, and our football team had a losing season, and the high school coach came up to me and said, look, I can't have the biggest kid in school you know, playing in the marching band. I need you on my offensive line protecting my quarterback. Turns out he was right, and Jason excelled, earning a full ride to the University of North Carolina, where he not only played football, but married his college sweetheart, Ted. Everybody was telling us that we're a power couple. Next came the NFL. At one point, I believe you were the highest paid center in, in all of professional football. Yes, I was. So I was drafted by Baltimore in the fourth round, served four years there, and then St. Louis in free agency made me the highest paid center in the NFL. But something didn't feel right. It was my 27th birthday. I should have been happy for myself. Uh, waking up in a 12,000 square foot mansion, and I look in the mirror, and I couldn't stand to look at myself and say, Jesus, what are you doing with your life? And I, I didn't have the answer. A few years earlier, Jason's older brother Lunsford died serving in Iraq. He was 27. I began to reflect um, everything that I had accomplished over 27 years versus everything that Lunsford had accomplished over 27 years. And I got to tell you that there was no comparison. I asked Jesus, with all of the gifts all of the talents, all of the blessings that he's giving me, what can I do to make a difference? And his response was to feed his people. For Jason, that meant leaving the football field for another kind of field. Tell you, when Jason came to you and he said, sweetie, I think we should farm. What was your reaction? Honestly, I, yeah, I thought he had lost his mind. We're not farmers, you know? But he told me that he felt led by God. I was like, okay. We're, we're going to have to give this a try then. They returned to their North Carolina roots and bought a 1,000-acre farm appropriately named First Fruits. The original goal was to donate the first fruits of every harvest, but when we saw the tremendous need from the community that first year, God placed it on our hearts to give it all away. There was just one problem. No one knew how to actually farm. How did you learn how to farm the land. I went to the online university of YouTube while playing football. I watched hours and hours of film every single day. Well, now I can watch hours of YouTube videos and transfer it over to the farm field. Since they started planting in 2014, the Browns and their eight children have donated more than a million pounds of fresh food. What's been the biggest challenge? adjusting to a different lifestyle and figuring out that, you know, God had a plan for me that was bigger than maybe some of the things that I had originally designed for myself. And for Jason and Tay, they wouldn't have it any other way. Seeing my children when we are out there in the farm fields and knowing that, that they're learning uh, life skills to help to be them and their families for, for generations you know, to, to come. That is the blessing of a farm. When things are uh, different on the other side of this thing, I'm yeah. gonna get down to this farm and, and check it out for myself. That would be amazing. Uh, bring your work boots. Yes, okay? that's right. Don't be dressed up like you are in the morning, <laughs> okay, with, with your nice suits. Bring your work clothes, because we're, we're gonna put you to work farm and, and not get put to work. No, That's no. That has been <laughs> that is fantastic. People wow. talk about their faith and, and then there are people who live their faith. Mm -hmm. and, and he prayed to God and he said God spoke to him and you hear feed my people. Some people might just go out and donate to, a, no. to an organization. Wow. No, no, he literally is feeding the people. And wow. um, if you want to see what a typical day on the farm looks like, Head over to, uh, to, to, to the Today Show Instagram page. Jason giving quite the behind-the-scenes oh. look on our Instagram cool. page. And his book, by the way, it's out next week, but uh, it's available for pre-order 
right now. I love that one picture over your it's, shoulder. The, it's there. Oh, the rainbow. That's yeah. amazing. It's an actual picture that he took. Wow. That's how you know you're, you're living right. Yes. You're That's doing awesome. the right thing. Yes. That's amazing. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.